at it again. We've got to talk about Kamala and some of these latest polls because there's been some internal polling that has leaked, and I'll show you guys some of that uh, towards the end here, um, that isn't in Kamala's favor. Now, I'm going to have to freeze frame this because I can't show you the actual video clip. You can listen to the audio due to copyright purposes, of course, but um, just check it out. One of the old saws is I they just want somebody they can have a beer with. Uh -huh. So would, would you like to have a beer with me so I can tell people what that's like? OK, this was now we asked ahead of time because I can't just be given a drink to the vice president of the United States. But I asked you asked for Miller High Life. You asked Miller High Life. I'm just curious. OK, the last time I had beer was at a baseball game with Doug. So. OK, so cheers. Okay, there, you cheers. Go. there you go. <laughs> Ooh, that yep. tastes like the beautiful city of Milwaukee, <laughs> the Wisconsin. The champagne of beers. <laughs> there you go. Um. And as you could hear, the old cackle is back. It is back in full force. But uh, I wish I could show you guys that clip because she legitimately already looks drunk as she's, you know, trying to seem relatable with this beer drinking uh, Miller High Life. Goodness gracious. Um, but... Something that's happened in several of these interviews, and I dropped uh, one maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday, where she went on The View and she was asked plainly. And a lot of these folks have asked her this question, which I'm, I'm just baffled at how she doesn't have a better answer to this. But they've all asked her, uh, what would you do differently from Joe Biden? Like, how can you be the candidate of change, the change candidate, which is what people want by and large, you know, across the board? And she absolutely bombed it. Um, and I, I dropped the YouTube short on it. Once again, if you haven't seen it, make sure you're watching my YouTube shorts, baby. I drop a lot of them. Typically, you know, three a day. So there, there's plenty over there. If you haven't, like, dive into them. You can, you can spend an entire day just flipping through my YouTube shorts alone. Uh, but she was asked a similar question, and um, it went just as bad. Check it out. Um, polling shows that a lot of people, especially independent voters, really want this to be a change election. Mm -hmm. And that they tend to break for you in terms of thinking about change. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you are a member of the present administration. Mm -hmm. uh, under a Harris administration, what would the major changes be? And what would stay the same? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. Um, I know. And so yes. that would be one change yes. in terms of... Yes. But also, it, I think it's important to say with, you know, 28 days to go, I'm not Donald Trump. And, and so when we think about the significance of what this next generation of leadership looks like, were I to be elected president, it is about, frankly, uh, um, I, 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 I love the American people, and I, I believe in our country. I, I, I love that it is our character and nature to be an ambitious people. You know, we, we have aspirations, we have dreams, we are, we, we have incredible work ethic. And, and, and I just believe that we can create and, and build upon the success we've achieved in a way that we continue to grow opportunity and in that way grow the strength of our nation. I, so for example, my economic policies, I, I, I think of it and I've named it as, as creating an opportunity economy. So it's about things like investing in small businesses. I love our small businesses. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. Like, I, I just don't understand. But one thing that I do want to also point out is the discrepancy between the interviews that Trump has done versus the ones that Kamala has done. And here is one example. Let's take a look at exhibit A, okay? So as you guys can see here, this is the Call Her Daddy podcast, the, you know, sex podcast that Kamala recently went on. Take a look at the likes to dislike ratio. Mm -hmm. With 107,000 views. Good views, right? Six-figure views, uh, four and a half thousand likes, but over nine thousand dislikes. Now let's take a look at one that Trump has done. Thirteen million views. Remember, hundred thousand, 
13 million. Now, Theo Vaughn does have a bigger YouTube channel, three three million versus uh barely just under a million. So sure, we, we, we could take that into account, but look at the likes to dislikes. Oh my. Oh boy, it's getting ugly. I mean, and let's take a look at this. 12 and a half million views. Look at the likes to dislikes. Look at the likes to dislikes. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. 2.6 million views. Look at the likes to dislikes. I mean, it's just a recurring theme. Whenever Trump does a podcast or, you know, goes on a show of some sort, it doesn't end up like this. Okay. It ends up like this. <laughs> You know, and I, I, I'm, I'm happy to see it, right? But it's also kind of crazy that we have a candidate like this running. A presidential song for anyone. One Nation Under a Groove by Funkadelic. One Nation Under a Groove. Getting down just for the funk of it. Can I get it on the... Wow! <laughs> Um, no, nobody's buying it. Uh, and the polls, they're getting real ugly for Kamala. Poll numbers for Trump today only getting better. This is kind of incredible. The Democrats in Harris now hitting the absolute panic mode. What came out today, Real Clear Politics has got this race about tied Harris up by two. This means that Trump is running seven and nine points respectively ahead of Biden and Clinton in 2020 and 716. In 2020, national poll, he was down by nine. In 2016, he was down by seven. I mean, these are incredible numbers. Trump running well ahead of where he was in those, in those two campaigns. Now across all battleground states, right now, real clear politics, Trump is either ahead or tied in every single state. This is a disaster for the Harris campaign. I mean, they need to win the national vote by three to five in order to win some of these states. They're gonna lose everything right now. This is, th these numbers are stunning. Let me give you some more. Just today, the Wall Street Journal leaked an internal Democratic poll. How they got it, I do not know, but they got it and they leaked it. Somebody sent it to them because obviously the panic is set in. Now get this, in Wisconsin, they're polling, right? The journal poll is what matters. They're polling his Trump up by three. Yeah. Kamala's campaign's internal polling has Trump up by three. And when CNN hops on and states that internally the campaign is panicking, you know it's getting real ugly. We have some new CNN reporting today about what is going on behind the scenes inside the Harris campaign and more broadly among Democrats who are growing more and more anxious about a 2016 redux. CNN's Priscilla Alvarez joins me now. Priscilla, uh, we were just joking here at the table that anxious Democrats happen on a day that ends in Y. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is something that perhaps is, is warranted given the data that they're seeing. Explain your great reporting. Yeah, look, that's exactly right, Dana. And this has been a campaign that was described by multiple Democrats, allies, aides uh, to the vice president as a good vibes campaign. But what's also creeping in now is that anxiety. The reason for that is because these polls are not really moving. Despite multiple battleground blitzes, despite uh, the opportunities she has had uh, across media outlets, there is still not a lot of movement from voters who are moving more towards her versus former President Donald Trump. When CNN is coming out and admitting that, you know it's getting real ugly. But I also want to play uh, this clip for you guys as well because um, this says a lot. Once again, that internal polling, it's starting to leak. I have to talk through. For you Harris people on here complaining that we're talking about problems in, in, the, in the Harris campaign, you're welcome to put your head in the sand about it. If you want to go watch MSNBC primetime and hear how great things are going for the Harris campaign, you're welcome to do that. But if you want to understand what's actually happening, we're here to tell you, I just saw some new private polling today that's very robust private polling. She's in a lot of trouble. Here's how I framed it this morning in my newsletter. 
the conversation I'm having with, with with Trump people and Democrats with data are are extremely bullish on Trump's chances in the last 48 hours. Extremely bullish. You think of the seven battleground states. Which ones is Harris in danger of losing? I would say Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, North Carolina, and Georgia. I'm not saying she'll lose all six, but she's in danger. The only one that the Democrats say she's not in danger of losing is the one I never say the name of because I can't pronounce it. But it's where Las Vegas is. Right? <laughs> the only swing state that she's not in danger of losing is Nevada. Every other one, she's losing. Every other one. Even Quinnipiac released their polling. Uh, when was this? This was yesterday. Um, and this is what Quinnipiac says, which is a left-leaning, left-leaning polls. They always have the Democrat candidate ahead, except for now. This would be the map according to Quinnipiac. Yeah. That is, that's a Trump win. That's a Trump win. Even without Arizona or Nevada, it's a Trump win. Even without Pennsylvania, Trump wins. It's getting ugly, guys. It is getting real ugly. Even real clear politics. This is real clear politics right here. Okay. Real clear politics. Trump wins. Trump wins. No toss ups. This is this is a Trump win. Without Wisconsin here, but in real clear politics, he picks up Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's it's, it's getting ugly, guys. It is getting ugly ugly and even if you want to take a look at the betting odds which yes i know they're betting odds but this is this is people's money right people want to make their money back check that out arizona 67 to 33 georgia 65 35 pennsylvania 54 46 michigan 51 49 wisconsin 51 49 the only one that trump is behind in is nevada that's it. That's it. Um, and here is some more alleged, I got to say alleged, internal polling that has leaked. Wisconsin, Trump up. Pennsylvania, Trump up. Michigan, Trump up. North Carolina, Trump's got a pretty big lead. Georgia, pretty big lead. Arizona, pretty big lead. The only one he's behind in is Nevada. Yeah. Emerson polling, right? Boom. Trump win. Trump win without Michigan or Wisconsin. It's a Trump win. And right now, Trump is poised to take Michigan and has a very good shot at taking Wisconsin too. So you add those two to that. Oh, yeah, it's getting ugly. It's getting ugly. It's getting ugly for Kamala. Okay getting real ugly you know so uh one one we still have to put in the work we still have to show up um i would say vote early if you can all right don't wait until the day of right because then there's a lot of variables that could be thrown into the mix uh, we we've talked about these storms and how i don't feel right about them okay that's one thing We've seen pipes burst randomly. We've seen paper jams or running out of paper on election day. So if you could do it early, do it early. If not, obviously make sure you get there on the day of and you take somebody with you. And of course, make sure, you know, you talk to them about Uncle Trump, of course. Make sure, you know, that they that, that they vote for, for the Don, all right? <laughs> Because it's not enough just to take them there. You got to, you know, make sure that they vote for the right person. All right. Of course. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it's looking good. It's, it's looking good. Now, once again, I am a little bit worried about North Carolina. He does have a big lead. We'll see how the storms uh, will affect everything. Uh, you know, because uh, like I said, this, those storms hit major red areas, red counties. So we'll, we'll see how that affects things. I said before, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about that. Even in Florida, 
uh, Milton, I believe, is the name of the new latest one. Uh, it's hitting a lot of red counties, right? Hitting a lot of red counties in Florida, right, right through the middle there. Uh, so that's that's a little worrying as well. That's a little worrying. But for right now, we've got the lead. Let's expand it. Let's expand it. Don't get comfortable. Don't sit back on your hands. We still need door knockers. We still need call takers. We we, we still need. Uh, you know, folks out here, obviously, TP USA is doing some great work with Charlie Kirk. Uh, 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 Scott Pressler, get in contact with him. He's doing some fantastic work. There's other organizations that are out here. I believe Elon Musk has an organization as well. Um, so, yeah, there are plenty of places where you can get involved. And as a matter of fact, I believe I believe it was Elon Musk organization that's actually employing some people. Uh, to the tune of, I believe, $30 an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you know somebody that needs some cash, that you know, that's looking to, um, you know, help the Don, help Uncle Trump. I believe I believe it was Elon Musk. I reposted it on uh, my Twitter account. Matter of fact, let me pull that back up. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Yeah, I know, guys. I'm so unorganized. I just be... This, this is how you know I don't read off of a script. Like, it's just... What, what, whatever comes to mind is what I say, um, and sometimes I'm just unprepared because, you know, hey, stuff happens, right? Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, um, put this up on the screen. So, America's America PAC is offering a starting salary of $30 an hour to individuals seeking to increase voter registration and turnout. Join our team. Email us if you're interested in working on increasing voter registration and voter turnout. Pay starts at 30 per hour with bonuses for performance. The site reads, um, this is what winning looks like. Vote, 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 fight, 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 which is to is everyone, you know, he says. people on the street everywhere. Vote, 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 fight, 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 vote, vote, vote. Thank you. Yeah. So America pack, I believe uh, it's Elon Musk uh, pack, America pack, $30 an hour, guys, $30 an hour. Get involved. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love. I'm out.